come to the vessels of honor online platform what a privilege to come and share god's word with you today today i'm encouraged by god's word and i pray that you'll also be encouraged as we share this word with you today have you felt forgotten i personally have i must have been around five years old when i went to our busiest town in swatin with my elder sister who left me in one of the marketplaces to just sit there put and take care of the things that she had already bought for the family as she was continuing with their shopping for the family. I'm not very sure how long she left me. It must have been an hour to two. I can't remember quite well because I was very young. But the panic I went into, as I stayed there, it felt like it was eternity. It felt like she was no longer coming. Thank God for those ladies who saw me when I got up trying to follow the direction she took when she left. I would have been lost. I don't know what would have happened to me, but thank God. But because I was feeling the despair of being left alone, I felt like she was no longer coming back. You maybe also have felt that kind of a feeling in your life. And I know how frustrating that can be. I also know how frustrating it can be to be in the middle of seasons in your life whereby you cannot go forward, whereby you cannot even go backwards, but you are stuck in a season and it's like it's taking forever. One of the seasons I don't like very much, it's winter because I don't like cold. And for me, it feels like winter is longer, even though in our country we have similar times, but it is it is easy to feel like a season is not ending if it's a season that is not favorable to you. Last year when we started the year, having heard about the COVID and we went on a, lo a lockdown as a country, it felt like it was going to be a thing for a short time, but we did not know that a second wave was going to come. And then we went again in another lockdown whereby we thought it was going to be the very shortest time. But we think that two months or so, we lost lots of friends and family people we knew. This same time, it feels like it's a time or it's a season that is not wanting to pass. As I speak, we are on lockdown, but it feels like this season has been there. It feels like this season is lingering more than we would want it to linger. We have prayed. Have you been to a place where you have prayed and it seems like your prayers are not answered. You have prayed for a door to open and you know this door, it's only God who can open it. And it's like that door is shut and it's like God is not hearing you at that given moment. Have you been to a situation where bad things one after another are happening in your life and it looks like somebody has forgotten about you. It looks like or it feels like God has forgotten about you. This Today I'm here to say God has not forgotten about you. As a matter of fact, he sees what you're going through. He hears the prayers that you have made and he is the God who actions. He is about to do what only God can do. Paul writes in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 and says, and I am convinced and sure of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will continue until the day of Jesus Christ, right up to the time of his return, developing that good work and perfecting and bringing it to full completion in you. Wow. What a God we serve. Sometimes when we go through these seasons, it feels like even the promises he made in your life and about your life and about everything that is around you, it feels like God has forgotten. But today I'm here to remind you that the one who has begun a good work in your life is able to complete it. He is not only able to complete it, but he's also willing to complete it. And he wants you to finish what he has started. He wants you to finish strong. And therefore, during even this toughest of times, toughest of seasons, he wants you to put your focus on him. He wants you not to be distracted because the seasons we go to, we, we go through, sometimes we can easily get distracted. I made an example earlier on of myself. 
when my sister left me in that marketplace. It felt like she was no longer going to come back. It felt like she had abandoned me. But God has not abandoned you. The work he has begun, he is ready to finish it. He wants you to give him all the trust. He wants you to look up to him. He wants you to depend on him even when everything else is shaken. Because he alone is the one who can never be shaken. Whatever season we go through, he remains faithful. Whatever season we may experience, he is present with us. The best thing you can ever do for yourself is to stay upon his word. It is to stay upon his promises. It is not to be shaken when things come around you. The worst thing you can do for yourself is when things become tough, then you neglect the one who knows the way. You neglect the one who knows the solutions. You neglect the one who knows the future. So I'm encouraging you today, stay put because God has not forgotten about you. Number two, I want you also to realize that God always finishes what he has started, like I have read in this scripture, that what he has started in your life, he will accomplish it, no matter the problems around it, no matter the challenges, he will stand faithful to his word. He cannot deny himself, he cannot lie, he's not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he could repent, but whatever he has said to us, he will see it coming to to fruition because he is faithful God. He is the faithful God who never changes on us. Number three, I want us also to realize that during these tough times in our lives, we need to put our eyes on the price that is set for us. We have a greater price that has been set for us as children of the living God. We know that we are not belonging to this world. We know that there is a destiny that the Lord has set for us. It will be a tragedy for us to gain the whole world and lose the very thing that God wants us to, hold, to lay hold of in our lives. So I encourage you today, put your eyes on the price that is set before you. Put your eyes on the promises of God. Do not let the situations, the circumstances, the season make you forget or lose what God has entrusted you. One of the things that is amazing when you look at, at God's word, most of the things you see, the miracles that took place to so many ministers or to so many children of the living God, any person, but it was during tough times. And I want to encourage you that as you go through the toughest time of your life, I want you to realize that God is present with you. And if God is present with you, he, you will come out strong. And you must learn the things that God wants you to learn in that particular season. I like an ant. The word of God talks about an ant as a very diligent animal. And we should learn definitely from an ant. You'll see an ant in summertime very busy collecting food, collecting things that are far bigger than it, taking it to the storeroom. And in wintertime, you won't see ants going around because they have done their part during the right season. And I encourage you today, do what God wants you to do in this season. Do not let this season pass by and then you wonder why did I even go through that season? There are things that God has for you, even for this season. It may look dry, but God is there. It may look like there is no hope. Jesus is the hope and he's present. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is faithful to his word. So let us hold on to God's word because he is the one who has started a good work in our lives is able to fulfill it. He is able to see it coming into fruition. He's a good God. May you be blessed today in Jesus' name.